Hello guys, today we will be learning math. So first uh, we have householder transformations. So there was a guy and he was holding a house and he could transform using that house. Let's say you have a vector and the length of that vector is let's say 13. So you want to rotate that vector. So its length is again 13, but it just pointing in different direction. To calculate that new vector, we may use this formula. I is identity matrix. V is vector perpendicular to the reflection plane or vector. If V is a unit vector, that means length one, then the formula simplifies to this. And V times V transposed is outer product to create a matrix. So if you multiply any vector with this P matrix, which is the householder matrix, it's gonna get reflected. It's just a standard rotation matrix. So P times X has the same length as X because P will just rotate it, not stretch or squish it. You could also say it's orthonormal matrix. If you wanna dive deeper into that, if you reflect a reflection, it will go back to where it started. Let's say we have this vector and we want to turn Y coordinate to zero. So this vector lies on X axis. The length must be preserved and the length of this is five. So the new vector is gonna be five zero. To follow the formula, we will just subtract original vector minus our target. That's gonna be our V. And if we plug V into the formula, we get a bunch of math here. And at the end, we get householder matrix. Once we multiply householder matrix times our vector, we get our resulting vector. Usually, if you're calculating this in machine learning, you will not build the matrix because let's say we have 10,000 variables, then this matrix could be 10,000 squared, which is 100 million numbers. We could get out of memory pretty quickly. Instead, we can rearrange this formula to go from outer product to a dot product, which is just a single number. So instead of n squared operations, we just have n operations. I've been editing these two minutes of the video for almost four hours. I don't know why I'm so slow, but I'm going to have to figure out how to edit it faster. Check out these two videos for quick edits as well. Link below the video.